Hello everybody! Uh, in typical fashion, I've done a bunch of stuff and didn't video it. You're probably used to that by now. So anyway, I'm going to try and give you the speed highlights. Shiny new oil filter. And shiny new oil. Uh, we have a choke that sort of operates. Um, cable routing obviously is not original due to the fact that we've got a very different carb. Uh, and it's a little bit stiff. I've lubricated it, but it's not quite working properly. It does work. And Tommy does start a lot better with a little bit of choke. Um, petrol filter. New filter installed, but I can't seem to stop petrol spraying out everywhere. So I disconnected it again and went back to the old gizmo here. But that's ready to go. If only I can work out. I looked at the book and the pictures and put it all together and had a gasket left over. It didn't seem to fit, so I left it off and anywho. Um, I... Tore open all the drums again and used um, brake cleaner. Did a brilliant job. Made everything look super duper. And we have brakes. I even left a skid on the driveway down there. Um, what else? Oh, yes, yes, look. Shiny new indicator lenses all the way around. And underneath there, there's a new fuel filler hose. You can't see it from there, but I can show you this one. It's actually, the hard, about the hardest job so far was fitting that little bugger. In the end, I even chopped a bit off the bottom because I couldn't get it much further up here. It's about where I wanted it to, but didn't want to go up and so there was a bit of a kink when it jammed down to there but trimmed a bit off the bottom and attached it so they're all good to go um, in my test drives up the driveway uh, testing the brakes speedo works um, yeah I've probably forgotten something really important can't think. So yes, main ones, oil and filter, choke, brakes, and yeah, there we go. Move locations slightly. Oh yes, so we do have a problem in that the, we can't see it in the dark, it's the oil pressure sender where it screws to the actual oil filter or housing you can do flip um it's actually the engine side is broken so we have an oil leak there which is not good i know that if it's not leaking oil there's something wrong but it's leaking a little bit too much um i was gonna say something else what was it no gone probably forgotten something real important I did uh, water blast the wheels and tires been pricing up tires yes ordered uh, ball joints for the front and wipers oh yes that's right I did try to repair um, the bit of play in this wheel bearing but without the dirty great big uh, spanner slash socket to go on the nut, I couldn't really. So I learned a bit about that. That was it. Anyway, yes, change of location because we're getting firewood down there. Look at that. Isn't it just disgusting? But you can't see my skid mark anymore. That's good. All right. Yeah, despite not wanting to blather, I've blathered. Blather, blather, blather. Toodle pip.